Katrina. I find it interesting that even though we've been trapped in the house for weeks, we find ourselves changing our clothes more than ever, especially when we put on our heads. Hi, we're Evans and Trina, and this is a moment we like to call Keep It Together. As most of us know, in marriage and being part of a family, not every day is the same. In our home, it seems like change happens by the moment, but we do our best to adjust to those changes and we try not to lose ourselves in the process. We search to our spiritual and our emotional wardrobes to find the most fitting hat for whatever situation we're walking into. For example, if my son is throwing the fit or a plate of peas and carrots, it's time to put on my discipline hat. Mm -hmm. But if my daughter doesn't place in a race that she's running in, I need to put on my encouragement hat. And then there are also those hats we put on our head when it comes to being married. Like the have a good day at work hat. Thinking of you text hat. The what time did you say dinner would be ready hat? Did you get my text hat? Nagging hat. He does not listen hat. More times than I like to admit, I find myself looking for my apology hat. And the forgiveness hat. Our closets are full of hats. And sometimes we can grab one without thinking and rush into a situation that goes completely downhill because we didn't take the time to consider the needs of the other person. So if you find yourself going into a marriage situation or a family issue, step in front of your closet and take the time to invite the Holy Spirit's covering before you choose your head covering. That way you can be sure to walk into that situation with an open mind and a calm stance. That reminds me what the word of God says. It says in John 14, 26, that the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and make you remember all that I have told you. Amen. Trina, it's funny that even though we're almost 40 years old, we still need help getting dressed in the morning. So when you wake up in the morning, take your time getting dressed. Allow the Holy Spirit to choose your outfit for you and be sure to listen to him as he speaks to you and guides you throughout the day. That's all we have today. Keep loving each other, keep working with each other, and keep, keep it together. together.